I've been all over the world. I can tell you we are right up there on par with any country in the world. There's no, not a country in this world that can do it better than South African concrete technologists can do. That's why you can go to just about any country in the world. You'll find some good ex-South Africans there actually working with concrete technology over there. We are as good as it gets. What is different is our materials here is different. You know, we work with the different cements. Um, well, that is up to standard. But our aggregates mostly are not river sands. Most of our aggregates are crusher sands that we work with. And that makes it a little bit more of a challenge. However, you, the old saying was always, you can make concrete with any stuff so long as it's consistent stuff. So, so long as these guys can produce proper, consistent materials, we can make a mix design that will be workable with that materials. And that's what we do. And you know what? As far as that goes, I think that we are better than most of the overseas concrete technologists who work with wonderful river sands and fantastic materials. We make fantastic concrete with materials that's not so fantastic. And I think that puts us even a little bit ahead of the pack. In South Africa, the challenges that we have is that we sit with a situation with a very, very dry condition. I'm busy with a case at the moment where the guys do a simple floor outside. It's a hard stand. Well, it's not small, it's a big one. But now, once they place the concrete, this, the concrete starts to dry out immediately. When it dries out, it starts to shrink. If you don't accommodate it immediately, it will make a crack and that means that we have to deal with it. So, what we are suggesting is that we should specify proper protection for that concrete at very early ages. Once they've finished it, you better protect it until they can cut the joints and then accommodate the drying shrinkage. Now they don't. So what happens? We sit with engineers who do not understand the problem. So what do they do? The first thing they do is specify that we take out about half the floor. Now we go back, we say, guys, it's not necessary. These cracks are not structural cracks. It's not necessary and they can be fixed. But now it becomes a serious issue and a very costly one. And we sit with lots of that from my point of view where we handle disputes, it becomes a big issue for us. Um, well, really, I don't mind. Let's do more of that. I'll expand my business. You know, I really don't mind that. Have fun. But you know what? We also get to a stage where we say, at least the people should learn. Maybe instead of me consulting more, we should be training more and get the guys to understand a little bit better. At least one of the courses that we present at carry CPD points for professional engineers. Maybe we should get more of the engineers. I was hoping that we would, but we didn't. Um, you know, so that we don't sit with the problems where engineers will go, we check concrete is absolutely perfectly suitable. That is a big problem in our industry at the moment. My message to the ready mix suppliers would be go and visit the lab. Go into the lab and go and check. It's very simple. Go and get the test method. You can download it on the internet from SABS. Get the test method. You need to have it anyway. So go and check how they sample the cubes. Go and check how they make the cubes. Go to your lab. Even if it's a commercial lab, or especially if it's a commercial lab, even if it's accredited or not, doesn't matter. Go there and check what they do with your stuff. Because if they're messing up, let me tell you what, it's costing you a huge amount of money. Because any, any mistake that they make in the testing will give you a lower result. Unless you cook them or crook them, these cubes will always give a lower result if you make a mistake. So my advice would be, go and check what goes on in your local laboratory and go and check what they're testing. Because if they're making mistakes, you might not like to hear it, but it's costing a lot of money.